everyone, welcome you all to Taxi's YouTube channel. I was missing for a while because I had my finals. Uh, and here I am now. So, as you can see, I have changed my background and that's for a little change. So, as usual, we will be discussing about a really interesting topic today. And today's topic will be, what is this holography? Or else, what are those holograms? A hologram, pronounced as hologram, is a photographic technique that records the light uh, scattered from an object and then uh, present it in a way uh, that appears three-dimensional. These holograms can be seen without using any special equipment such as cameras or glasses. Basically, holograms can be seen by naked eyes. Those images can be viewed in any angle. So, as the user walks around the display, uh, the object will appear to move and shift drastically. Okay, okay, let me put this into simple terms. Uh, holograms are three-dimensional or as 3D images generated by interfering beams of light that reflect from real physical objects. Various types of holograms uh, have been made over the years, including transmission holograms which allows the light to be shined through them and image to be viewed uh, from the side and uh, rainbow holograms which are being used for security purposes such as credit cards or driver's license there are two ways to create holograms one is uh, via computers with uh, with augmented reality glasses the second way is physically which are uh, used for optical displays depending on which method is used there are two types of holograms stereotypical holograms and realistic holograms. The most common and recognizable example of stereotypical holograms is Microsoft HoloLens. In 2015, Microsoft became the first company to introduce the HoloLens holographic glasses. The technology that the tech giant unveiled is widely used today to create augmented reality. So now, about the realistic holograms. 1947, Denis Gabor, the Hungarian uh, British physicist, developed today's modern holograms theory while working on an uh, electron microscope. However, optical holography didn't really advance uh, until the advent of laser in 1960s. As I have said before, holography is a unique method of photography whereby 3D objects are being recorded using laser beam and then restored uh, as precisely as possible to match the original object. When illuminated via a laser, holograms are able to form an exact 3D image of the object and duplicate its features. So. In order to create a hologram, we may need an object, uh, it can even be a person that we want to record, um, a laser beam to be shined upon the object and the recording medium. A recording medium with a proper material in, uh, needed to help uh, clarify the image and a clear environment to enable the light beams of intercept. A laser beam is split into two identical beams and redirected by the use of mirrors. One of the split beams, uh, the illumination beam or object beam, is directed at the object. Some of the light is reflected off the object onto the recording medium. The second beam, known as the reference beam, is directed onto the uh, recording medium. This way, it doesn't conflict with an imagery uh, that comes from the object beam and coordinates with it to create a more precise image in the hologram location. The beam intersect and interfere with each other. The interference pattern is what is imprinted on the recording medium to recreate an image for our eyes to see. The recording medium where the light coverage can be made up of various materials. One of the most common use with holograms is a recreation of uh, photographic films with an added amount of light reactive grains. There's an 
enables the resolution to be higher for two beams making the image look much more realistic than uh, using the silver halide materials from 1960s. The technology used to capture holograms had advanced rapidly in recent years. These latest techniques allow increasingly convincing and interactive models to be displayed and are expected to become even more widespread in the future. Now that we have got a better idea of how holographic technology works, let's take a look at the areas that have been mostly impacted by holographic technology. Holographic technology is used in a variety of ways in several industries. These are going to be just some popularized examples. Healthcare industry, high-tech security, entertainment and gaming, telecommunication, education, spatial navigation, marketing and direct sales, music shows and the return of historical figures. Do you all remember Prince of Leia appearing as a floating image in the early episodes of Star Wars? I oh, yeah, that's an example for holography. Holograms have been popped up in movies such as Star Wars, Avatar, Iron Man. Yeah, the future of holography lies at the intersection of AI, digital human technology and voice cloning. The consistent increase in worldwide computing power will allow the creation of digital human models that will render at an ever accelerating pace that will make them more and more difficult to tell uh, apart from the real ones. In turn, the evolution of holographic technologies will lead to their increasing availability and portability. Imagine if holographic content could one day be as accessible as streaming content such as holographic cinema, holographic theater, music shows. Yes, it is predicted that this technology is within reach. I hope you have learned so many new things about holograms in our today's video. So, if you have liked the video, give it a thumb up. And if you still haven't subscribed to us, uh, Texas, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my new videos. We will meet with another interesting topic in our next video as well. So until then, bye bye.